men in airports treat you like they treat us. Understand your fury, but not without irony. Fifteen years ago, a young Persian man could not believe police pulled 16-year-olds out of cars to make snow angels on the Los Angeles concrete because they 16 and black. Wonder what he'd think now. <laughs> Imbalance happens to all of us in the middle of grave injustice. We juggle our minds, each one trying to figure out how to survive this air. Some of us numb, some shrivel, some of us eat each other, some explode. But I believe, in balance we write by changing the air around us with our walk, our voice, our laugh. For me, this means putting these words into the air. A small gesture, really, but all I can do to let you know I understand, yes, People die on top of each other while your neighbors shop for Beverly Center, trying on the latest lipstick. Their biggest dilemma, Viva Glam or Lancome. <laughs> and yes, Kissinger worms his hand back into U.S. military grip. And yes, people do not know bills and clauses passed to steal fathers away from their families in the middle of the night and look into each and every living room and computer and tap each and every phone to protect monopolies as they continue to suck all resources from this earth and two-legged creatures, and this is not the half of it. And this is too much to fathom and drink mint tea. But bring up your beautiful smile. Name justice with your walk, your voice, out loud. There are these small moments happening across the city, there really are. And across the country, there really are that collectively change this air of fear. Transform the very air in which you move. Let it announce love, justice, 